Welcome to my new family room. The elephant in the room, my Hey Arnold mug. I know you love it, I love it too. You got a doggy entering the situation. You gonna lay right there, Pinocchio? Hi, it's Jessica. If you don't know me, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So the backstory on this is that a few years ago we moved into this house and when we moved in, we were moving from an apartment. We had recently gotten married and so we were basically using hand-me-down furniture that we loved and we moved it here and it didn't quite fit in this room. The room was a little bit bigger, of course, than what we had at the apartment. And long story short, we finally spent the time, now that we've been here a few years, to actually decorate this room the way we wanted. And we actually bought furniture that we're hoping to have for a long time, like investment furniture. So the original room here that you're seeing was actually much, much darker and it kind of had mismatched furniture. We had some paintings on the wall, but again, we felt like this was a room we never really wanted to be in. It wasn't super cozy the way we wanted it to be. So our goal for this whole project was to brighten it up. We also wanted to make it a little bit more contemporary. A lot of the things we moved over were a little more traditional, and so slowly but surely, we've been replacing things in this house with a little bit more modern pieces, or at least more contemporary in my mind. And then the final goal we had was to make it cozy. We wanted this to be a room we actually wanted wanted to spend our evenings in. We knew we had a few challenges ahead of us. I'll share that with you, some snafus we had. We'd even talked about going through like Havenly or Modsy or one of those like online design sites. We might try that for another room in our house, but we ended up just doing this on our own. So I'm gonna bring you in closer, explain the changes we made, anything I can actually link, I will link for you guys down below. There's a lot I'm pretty sure I'll be able to link. And then other information like paint color and stuff I'll also have below. So. If you are new to my channel, I'd love if you subscribe. I do three videos a week, beauty and lifestyle and home and groceries and all of that stuff. I'd love to have you join our little family here. And other than that, let's dive into this room. I'm so excited. All right, let's start up here. So this lighting fixture was actually the first thing we replaced in here. I think we bought it at like Home Depot and there's like a whole collection of this style. I like that it's got the wood and a little bit of that like dark black kind of iron look to it. So it's stylized, but it's not like over the top. So it can still fit in with like the other furniture we have. So I love it. I know even family members of ours have bought things from this line as well. I wouldn't say that it throws off a ton of light for this room. So you see this room really just naturally is darker because we only have windows on one side of the room and which you'll see in a sec. But with that in mind, we just have lamps everywhere. So another thing we replaced was the couch. The original couch we had in here, well actually originally we had an old red couch in here. Then we had one that was a similar color, but it was a lot older and it just wasn't as comfortable to sit in and it certainly wasn't as big. So we knew we wanted a big old sectional. This was probably the most expensive piece we bought here. And I bought it at a furniture store called Kittles that's near me. This kind of couch I feel like you can get in a lot of places. We had looked for months and months and months, didn't find exactly what we wanted. And we finally found this where it was a fabric that's a little bit easier to clean because we knew we still wanted a lighter one. And we do have a toddler running around the house and a dog. So easier to clean. We love that it was a little bit more of a durable fabric, but it was still cozy. One thing we realized is we wanted it to be cozy, but a lot of the ones that are overly cozy just look kind of like crummy when they're just sitting there unused, like when you get up because they're so plush. And we didn't want that either. We kind of wanted that in between. So this is what we got. We absolutely love it. And I think more than anything, I love that we've got the chaise lounge area, but then we also have this area. So when we're facing the TV this way, one of us can be laying there if we want. We can lay sideways. We can lay forwards there on the chaise lounge. It's just nice to have those different options. Now, the pillows are a mishmash of older pillows we had. When we bought the couch, of course, it came with some pillows. And so we could pick out a fabric, but we really were like, we don't really know exactly what we want and none of the fabrics were speaking to us. So the salesperson just recommended cover, getting them covered in the exact same pattern as the couch. So we did, and you can see a few of them there. And it's perfect because then we can splash in whatever pillows we want that are actually more comfortable anyway. A lot of the ones with patterns are actually just from Ikea. We found, you know, you can just buy the, and I will say they're a little bit floppier, like they're not super firm and they're not, they're, they're just, you can feel that they're a little cheaper, but I really liked the patterns they had. And again, for the price point, if you're buying a few, it's a really good price point. I could see myself maybe eventually keeping the cover, but replacing the inner pillow because they do feel a little bit cheaper but they work out great and they look really nice. To be quite candid, most of these we actually saw, I even took a picture in Ikea, I'll put on the screen right now. We saw a couch that looked a lot like ours there and it had a lot of these pillow patterns. And so literally we just like took a picture, went to the pillow area and bought like most of them. So getting some good inspo from <laughs> Ikea. Thank you, Ikea. So the rug we might eventually replace, it's just a plain navy blue. I actually do like the splashes of navy blue and black in this room and they weirdly go together better than I thought. 
but we have thought about eventually replacing this. It's, we've had it a little while, we got it at Ikea. And then these wooden pieces, you'll see there's two side tables, this middle table. We love because it actually goes up. So if we want to eat at the couch, which to be honest, we do an embarrassing amount. Okay, just stop judging. I can hear you judging me from here, but uh, it's awesome. Or even if you're just like drinking coffee or tea or whatever, I don't think I can link these exact things because we bought it at a discount furniture store, but they were not crazy expensive, but we liked this color wood because we felt like it could match a lot of things even in the future. So if we ever moved and we moved these with us, it would match different rooms because it's just kind of a standard wood. It's not super dark, it's not super light. It's not super trendy, it was right in between. And again, they had the dark kind of iron black looking metal pieces on it. And I thought that was really cute too, which tied in with the rest of the room. So here we've got our TV. This is a whopper of a TV. My husband super into having large TVs. So here we are. I'm not complaining, <laughs> I'm just saying. But down here we have from that same line, kind of like the TV console thing and just a lamp I've had for years and years and years, a little small one there. Oh, These pictures are honestly, other than the couch, one of my favorite parts of this room. It's basically just a kind of even keeled gallery wall. Instead of having them scattered in different ways, it's just more evenly spaced. I adore this. So these frames were not crazy expensive at Ikea. I can link the exact ones. They also have gold ones. We actually bought both, kind of held them up and we felt like this room would be too washed out if we didn't have a little more darkness in the room. So the black frames work perfectly. The photos I actually edited with like presets to make them all look lighter and brighter. So they look like they're kind of matching in that way. And so it's just pictures of my daughter, me and my husband, our doggy Pinocchio. We order them on Snapfish and I will say any site that you order from, definitely look up promo codes because they all are, you know, each print was gonna be like nearly $20. And I was like, I'm not spending $160 on eight prints. Like I just could not do it. So literally on Snapfish, I just Googled Snapfish promo code found like 60% off and then I found a free shipping code. And so there's so much you can do. So just keep that in mind. Don't order any prints from any site online full print. These came Came and they were gorgeous. They came rolled up so they didn't get all bent and they were so beautiful. And honestly, most of these photos were just taken on our iPhone. So just something to keep in mind. I will say the only one that came out a little blurry is that one there. And I think it's because I zoomed like way in and that was my own mistake, but the rest looked gorgeous. So this area here is another one we were just inspired. We were literally walking through Ikea and saw this exact thing. Again, I'll put a picture on the screen of what we saw at Ikea that we were like, oh my gosh. So we ended up buying these shelving units there and you can get like different colored. So we had the white shelf and the black brackets, but they also have like a lighter wood color bracket if you're more into that. So you can kind of switch it up. They had longer ones. This is actually two of them put together, but we loved again, the white and the black mix. It brought a little bit of depth to the room. Cause again, we felt like otherwise it was going to be super washed out. Most of these decor pieces, I, I literally went to Target and Home Goods, like at TJ Maxx the other day and just found a bunch of stuff that I liked, bought it, brought it here, kind of messed with it. So this is kind of one of those things that I think I like the way it looks. It might be a little busy for my taste, to be honest. So I could see myself rearranging, moving things to other rooms in the future. We'll see, this is what we're trying for now. But I liked the mirror and I thought the frame around it was really cool. And then I liked having the little saying, do what you love, kind of near each other like that, just leaned against the wall. And then the fake plants. And you can see that in this lantern here, I got at Home Goods, and this little like candle holder thing, they both have a fake little lantern in it that we can turn on with a little remote and it just kind of glows, but it's perfect. Cause I like the ambiance of a candle, but it's kind of nice to not have to worry about it. And I love the blue and white little vase here. I think it's so pretty. You can find a bunch of blue and white things at Home Goods right now. They had so many for really cheap. So. One thing we struggled with is where the couch ends. We had this extra three or four feet behind it and it would have looked weird and off-centered if we just moved the entire couch over. So we were like, well, what can we do with it? Can we get some storage for our toddler's toys or something like that? Then we found this. Now these are two pieces we saw at Ikea. They also have the same style in like a taller kit bookshelf, if you will. And so we fell in love again. We felt like it kind of worked with our other wooden furniture with the little bits of black. And not only that, but it had the storage down here. So literally you can open this, it's just magnetic. And then we bought these bins and we've got stuff for my toddler to play with. So we can just literally pull out a bin, she can play with it and then we can clean it up, put it away, get a different bin out. It's so perfect, it's hidden away, but we kind of have all this space here. We really don't know what to do with. We're like, well, we can put books on it, but then we're like, well, our toddler's just gonna get into it. So then we're like, well, we could put her books, but we already have those in some of this. So we really aren't sure if we're gonna put anything on this, to be honest, because it's kind of nice to have 
like I said, we don't like having a lot of things out and a lot of visual clutter and I already feel like it's almost visually cluttering right above it. So we're just kind of leaving this blank for now, but I love having the storage. This works so perfectly for this area of the room. I'm so excited about it. I love this lamp over here and that one is from Target. They have a taller version as well. We might actually replace this lamp here. These little bookends that have an A and a Z, we both fell in love with. We just grabbed some kind of old school books we already had and put them there. Again, that might be switched out, but I love the AZ bookends. I think those are so cute. And tentatively, we have a tart warmer here. Now listen, I know that I can't leave it here because she's going to start being curious and she's going to pull the cord and it's all going to come toppling down. So this will probably move. I'm just like holding out, but I, I know I have to move it. Now, the trickier part here, I'm having to adjust some lighting, is that all of our windows are on this other side of the room. And that's why we always felt like this was dark, because while it looks nice and bright over there, the other two thirds of the room is just always dark. So we have to have fake plants, no real, we tried to have living plants over there, doesn't work. On this side, we did get new curtains and curtain rods, all Ikea. You can get double curtain rods, so then you can have a row of shears and then a row of actual curtains. And we just love that look, especially in here. It felt kind of like old school shabby chic mixed with like, just like cozy. Like I picture opening the windows in the spring here in a few months and the wind blowing and the shears kind of blowing in the wind. There's just something so homey and childhood-y to me about that. And so I love that. And it's nice because on some days, if it's kind of gloomy, we'll just kind of have the shears pulled, but then have the actual curtains pulled back. You can buy the little C hooks to kind of hold the curtains back when you have them open at Ikea as well. That's where we got all of it. And I love that the design on the curtains, just like a delicate little dark black stripe with the white. I just think it looks so pretty. If I'm being honest, I don't like the mantle right now. There are pieces that I like. We have a lot of like hand painted replica paintings. We like having it in the ornate frames, but again, it's very traditional and we're, we're kind of moving away from that a bit. So I had bought a few mirrors, like larger mirrors to put there. None of them were quite right because this goes so high to the ceiling. So we just have the painting there for now until we discover something that's just perfect. I didn't really want to force it just to do this video. I figure we'll just leave it be for now. But I do have a couple of lanterns I bought. This lantern's from Ikea, the black one there. And then this other one I think I got at Home Goods. Again, with those fake little candles you can buy on Amazon, I can link. And then just a few other faux plant things. I have a feeling a lot of that is just kind of subject to change. I'm not happy with it. I think it's almost too much up there. It's too even. And then with the painting, it's just, that's part that's like still on my project list. So the paint on the walls is actually Sherwin-Williams and the color is called Greek Villa. I will say this, Sherwin-Williams paint was way more expensive than like just going to Home Depot and picking out a paint. That took me by surprise. I figured it might be pricier, but it was way pricier. If I did it again, I think I would take the paint swatch of Greek Villa and go and find a cheaper version because it, it's just too much, I think. I'm sorry, in my opinion, for paint. But I really like the color. To be honest, at first when we painted it, we almost went and got different paint because once we did the whole room, we were looking around, we were like, it doesn't look good. But once we got the new furniture in it and got new curtains, suddenly it all came together. And I'm so glad because I'm like, oh my gosh, we cannot repaint this whole room and pay for paint again. Like all of it was like way too much. So I am so happy with it. It's kind of like white, but it's just slightly warmer. And I think that's what's so perfect about it. It's a pretty popular color of theirs. When I went in, I asked the guy like, hey, here are a bunch of Instagram photos of like what I'm trying to do. What paint do you think they're using? And he's like, this is one of our most popular ones. So that was helpful. And another snafu we had was when I was ordering these prints from Snapfish, they, I ordered 16 by 20 because that was the size of the frame. What I didn't take into obvious account was that the frame is 16 by 20, but with the matting, it was much smaller. And so the photos came full size and I literally opened them, we're putting them next to the frames and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh no, all the things are gonna be all cut off weird because it's not the right size. And so we literally were just like, okay, I'm not buying all these prints again. So we fit them the way we wanted them in the matting and then just kind of cut off excess and then taped it to the back of the matting. So a little bit jerry-rigged, but it works and you can't tell at all. And so that worked out really nicely. And I think, I mean, you'd never be able to tell. So that's everything I think I needed to show you in here. I just figured I would give you kind of my experience in doing all of this. It certainly takes time. It took us time. And it's fun. It's one of those processes, like, I feel like me a few years ago would have wanted to rush it and have it all done. 
But I realized there's kind of the joy in that process of like finding a couple pieces that work and, you know, investing in maybe nicer pieces of furniture if you can, and then maybe going cheaper routes in other ways when you can. So it's just kind of a good mishmash. My favorite places to shop would definitely be discount furniture stores, man. You can find some incredible stuff. Like I said, these wooden tables we have were an incredible deal and they're really high quality. And on top of that, home goods. Honestly, when I compare Target to home goods, Home Goods has way, way, way better deals on everything. I wasn't really surprised to find that out, but it's just something worth mentioning that even with like fake plants, I was finding higher quality fake plants and pots and stuff like that and lanterns, higher quality than Target for literally half the price. So I would say start at Home Goods, then go to Target after. I should have done it in that order. And of course, Ikea is always a good place to find all kinds of different things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour around my new family room. We love it here. It's so much cozier. I hope that you'll subscribe. If you are new here, I do videos three times a week, beauty, lifestyle, home, all of that. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.